Having your camera static forces you to create the whole of your level on one screen. But if only there is a way to give the camera the ability to follow the player during his movement, that will allow you to spread the level on a wider area of your scene and thus allows you to create wider and longer levels. That's why in this tutorial I'll show you how to do this. Welcome to this new video by The Gamesmith. The first and the easiest way to do this is to simply get the camera and make it a child of your player. This will surely do the task if your game has simple controls and actually it will be perfect. But if your game has a lot of movement, jumping or shooting, you will begin to face some problems. So to avoid those problems, you only have to write a very simple and short script. To kick off, we'll start by creating a new c -sharp script and let's call it camera follow for example. And after that, we open it in Visual Studio. First of all, we'll start by removing both of the start and the update functions because we won't need them. After that, we'll need to declare a new variable of type transform and we'll call it players. Then a public float called follow speed. Then a vector3 which will be called new position. And finally a vector3 to be smoothed position. Now we'll create a new function of type fixed update inside which we'll set our new position to be equal to a new vector3 and between two brackets we'll set the x value to player.position.x and we'll keep the y value as transform.position.y and the z value as transform.position.z After that we set the smooth position to vector3.lerb Now lerb is a function which is responsible for the damping effect before the camera stops or in other words the retardation in its movement Now back to the script and between the two brackets we first type the current position of the camera so transform dot position and after that we add the position we want the camera to move to which is in this case new position then finally we add the speed the camera will follow the player with in this case it will be our follow speed multiplied by time dot delta time then finally we'll set the camera position which is transform dot position to be equal to the smoothed position so equal to smoothed position now save the script and go back to unity Once we're back in Unity, we drag the script and add it to the camera and then we drag the player game object to the player field in the camera inspector. And finally, we're at the point of setting the follow speed. But take into your consideration that the higher the follow speed is, the lower the damping becomes, and vice versa. So the lower your speed, the higher the damping effect you get. Well, there are other wonderful and more advanced ways to move the cam, like for example Cinemachine, but that is the subject of another video. 
So for now, thank you for watching, and if you learned something new today, give this video a thumb up, share it between your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, see you in the next one.